hello, hello, hello. How are you all doing? Yes, today is another cleaning vlog and I've pretty much not done any cleaning for the last week or so. Um, purely because I'm feeling demotivated, but I'll talk about the rest of it a little bit later in the vlog. But I have dishes to tackle, which actually my dishwasher needs to tackle. And I've just got some general cleaning up to do, uh, laundry to do. It's a nice day-ish. Well, actually, you know what? The weather in, in in UK has been a little bit, like, fishy. Like, I mean, uh, it's it's been really weird. We've had snow in April. Then we've had rain, which would be normal. Um, April showers and May flowers, you know. But snow. We've had snow. We've had temperatures drop to minus one, then one, two. Wait. Then we've had sun. Isn't it, isn't it April snow? No, it's April showers, May. No. Yeah, April showers, May flowers. I'm sure it's that. It was snowing. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. Basically, we've got just a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, to I clean up. This bit. Look what the cat did. Just a whole bunch of stuff. It has to go everywhere but she eats. Yeah. Well. Like. So yeah, I'm gonna tackle the kitchen first, I guess. So let's put you guys down somewhere. No. Guys, I am putting on so much weight and it's all stress. All stress. Come, come with me. The state of our garden right now. The men are back on doing their job. So I've got to put those out in the bins. I've got to get rid of these. But yeah. Just, oh my god, it's still cold. No, fine. There's so much work to be doing in this garden. Like, I had to clear all that bit or put it all in the bag. Yeah. Of this, this fridge. <laughs> so I bought some new things to keep the fridge organised as somehow everything ends up back in like containers and things are not being put where they're supposed to be put and it's just getting absolutely ridiculous and yeah the fridge needs to be cleaned like I don't know how much I'll be able to get done today because I'm so tired. I decided to get rid of the blinds and then replace it with these Vinley window vinyl sorry vinyl window stickers which don't seem to be sticking very well um, might have to hot glue it down a little or must have a new shisha or you want to call them hookah hookahs hookah hello this one here is very sleepy and she's very just like she's like jasmine at this point my jacket needs a wash too make sure you empty all the pockets out so yeah Let's just keep going. Thank you. 
little bit more better. I don't like cleaning the cooker. I don't. So maybe I'll save the worst till the end. But yeah, a little bit more polish. So I'll go over it again with a polisher and a clean cloth, which I don't really have on me right now. <laughs> they all need to be washed. So yeah, and we did repaint the kitchen. As you can see, so it's looking a lot better now, a lot, lot better. <laughs> yeah. I want to quickly show you guys I made this with the Cricut Joy yes it's got cat's hair on it but yeah I made this on the Cricut Joy and oh my god this is so so cool a little bit is coming off but I've got a little tip for that just to iron it back down with a cloth on top I use a muslin cloth and then I just put on high settings and I just iron it back down I'm not sure why it does that I mean it's done it on like my t-shirts as well but yeah I mean that's the only thing that I do I just iron it back down and then I did this one on the cushions which says love again needs to be ironed back down a little bit and hopefully it will just stay this time um, but if anybody's got any suggestions for the creaker as to like you know why it keeps lifting or anything like that please do let me know in the comments if you own a creaker and you know how to use one of those but yeah um <sighs> Yeah, just basically you need to know how to stop it from lifting. I've pressed down on those things on high heat setting for, I mean, a lot of times I've done that, a lot of times. So I'm just going to pretty much vacuum it, take it back upstairs, and then I'll show you how to use my Cricut, hopefully. But I will be using my phone. Um, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. <laughs> but I am going to be using my phone um, and I'm recording using my phone so um, yeah I don't know I've got an idea how the previous person 
Yeah. <laughs> so, no, in fact, I think I might just need to use my iron. And then iron it back down, and at some point I'll show you my quicker, then we'll use your phone. Cool. So, I've done most of the surface cleaning, and I've just tidied up a little bit of the fridge. I can't really get into it too much right now. Honestly, I usually use, like, I usually watch motivational videos to get me going and to get me you know started but i've been watching asmr um rather than watching what like uh, motivational videos and stuff but however honestly i haven't been in the mood i've been very demotivated like i said so yeah i just i don't know maybe a little bit later i don't know when my adrenaline pumps in i just did this little bit here and then just took off the grime and that and it just cleaned a little here and a little there again I haven't cleaned properly I can't be bothered and I know this is supposed to be like a motivational video for you guys to get on with your like cleaning and stuff but I do want to kind of explain to you um, the reason as to why I'm unable to do a lot um, this week and even last week there are days when it changes and I'll be like yeah I can just get on with my cleaning and everything will be okay and I'll be like full on and then there'll be days and weeks where I'll just be like oh, I can't I can't do it I can't do it and that's not me being lazy and I'll be honest if I was being lazy about things but this is but this is like just me I feel like it's a lot of to a lot of it is to do with stress right now. That's why I haven't been on a regular schedule with making videos and stuff. Um, and as well as the usual stress, there's a lot more going on in my life currently. That's just taking it kind of just hit me all in one go. And there's been a few changes happening. And I guess I just needed some time. But I just feel like I need to just get on with some of the cleaning at least, if anything, to keep you guys motivated. That, you know, even if it's to just start you guys off, so that you guys can just start cleaning. And then maybe, you know, get your adrenaline pumping and get on with it. Um, and sometimes cleaning can be quite therapeutic for a lot of people. For me, it usually is. But the kind of stress that I'm going through right now it's not really helping and the only thing that's helping right now for me is ASMR videos and I don't know if that's my autism kind of being triggered there um, so it, there's something about it that just keeps me a little bit calm so I'm gonna vacuum the suction on my vacuum has gone down a little bit and it's not picking things up or it sounds a bit clogged and even though there's nothing clogged so I think it's time to get that filter washed so I will be doing that the sun is out it is a good day to do that so I'm definitely gonna be doing that um, and yeah yeah that's it let's get on with the vacuuming I probably won't record this part but I'll show you the after results and then what I'll do is I'll take you guys up and then get on with some creek cut and I'll show you pretty much how I use iron on and stuff hopefully if I can find like my muslin cloth because it's kind of gone missing somewhere <laughs> so yeah all right in a second all right so we've got the second load in um but i've got the washing machine on the sink is a little bit more clearer we've got meals going on um yeah cooker i ain't cleaning that i'm trying you know i don't like cleaning the cooker and yeah i ain't cleaning that <laughs> so whatever yes uh we're a lot cleaner a lot cleaner uh can't say much about you so when are you shaping yourself up yeah uh toys are where they're supposed to be best shot is where he no, no you're not best not. shot anymore are you oh no what are you red what red red best shot is now red to save confusion uh red is where he's supposed to be <laughs> uh zara I don't know if you're supposed to be there, but cool. And then, yes, we're a lot cleaner. The vacuum, oh my God, I forgot to put the vacuum away. See what I mean? I'm so confused. Like, I'm so confused. So the sofas are cap free now. I don't know what that's doing there. And I'm just gonna take up whatever needs to go up. And then, yeah, 
That's pretty much what? That's pretty much about it. Cool. Okay, guys, so let me quickly introduce you to my bedroom. This was cleaned this morning, toys were put away, and this girl. Yes. She pulled all my toys out. I've literally been non stop cleaning for the last like three, four days. Oh, yeah, by the way, look what I did with the decals. Cool, isn't it? Right, so yeah. And she just goes off and she does that. <sighs> I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I can't do this anymore. By the way, guys, that is my quick cut that we are going to be hopefully using today to create a draw and cut. I've kind of tried to figure out how to do it, so fingers crossed it will work. But right now we need to get those cushions um, ironed back down. And yeah, we're going to be just literally working on this dirty don't you think okay so anyway I, d I did clean it i was filing my nails i overdid them by the way so they're killing now um i caused blood vessel hemorrhage ah! so yeah okay so we're going to be ironing back down hopefully you guys can see this but we're going to be ironing back down these that are just coming off which is the m the m and this little leaf thing here so i normally use my um oh what do you call that <laughs> the muslin is that how you pronounce it muslin um cloth but i don't have that with me right now but you can use something really thin and light okay this is cotton so i'm just going to be using this and i'm going to place it down and i'm using the small creek cut joy iron okay which has three settings and if you go onto the website if you put in like creek cut iron settings it'll come up there it tells you when it's ready i put it on the highest even though it does say put it on like medium setting i only do this because i feel like it works a lot better so i'm just gonna press down on those areas and i'm just kind of going over it like so okay and that's ironed it back down and then i'm gonna do exactly the same with this one right here and I'm making sure that I keep moving this around otherwise it's going to end up burning my pillow cover um, it'll end up burning right through so that one is kind of done I see another letter that's coming off a little bit so just keep moving it around it's really really hot on the third setting which is high you can probably tell and I'm just taking a look to see what else needs to be done. Now the only thing is, obviously when you re-iron it, it does go a little bit like creased. But honestly, I'm not fussing too much. I think it still looks okay. I'm not, honestly, it's just one of those things where I can't take this back off just to put it back on. Um, and that is something I've not learned how to do. So I'm going to be honest, I'm only showing you guys what I've learned to do. And that's pretty much about it. So far, I've vacuumed over this with the pet hair remover, and I think that is the reason why that has happened in the first place. Um, so just be mindful about that when you do vacuum over Vinley. Is it vinyl or Vinley? <laughs> Guys, put it in the comments. I think it's vinyl, but yeah, just let me know anyway. So, oh God. So. The next thing is this love one right here. So the O is coming off and I'm going to just quickly iron this back down. I'm going to do a few more today. I'm going to probably try doing some iron on on t-shirts today um, just to show you guys. And I'm going to literally just go over this part here. Also, the iron does notify you when it's overly done, like you've had it on for too long and stuff. So it'll kind of just let you know that you need to turn it off. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to press one button. So there's basically just one button to this. I'm going to try not to put my hands. But when you press this button, you've got a setting one. When you press it, you've got a setting two, which is medium, and then three, which is high, and then the next button is off. And then you get this sort of like iron holder, which is really good so i'm going to we're back to again see what i mean when i say there's a little bit of like creasing going on just a little bit of creasing but that's okay nothing too significant or big 
Next thing I want to show you is how to make the Cricut stickers. So for the Cricut stickers, I usually would be using this standard grip mat, which would have come up to, I think, the size of 15 centimeters. It would have been really short. I got this as a whole pack, but I had to purchase these ones from Amazon. They come in a set of three. This one is a standard grip mat. You can see right there. And then you've got the strong grip mat. And I've tried it, so obviously that didn't work with paper. And then you've got the light grip mat, which is one I'm going to be using. Grip mat, which is one I'm going to be using. I do need to clean these. Um, and it is recommended to clean these with um, a, a wipe. Basically a wipe and not to use it too hard. Otherwise it will get rid of the stickiness of the mat. Um, and then I use a paper cutter and for today I'm going to be trying something new with you guys which I've not actually done before um, but I'm going to be trying doing the print, um, the cut and draw to make some stickers so I'm using sticker papers which I already had these are not really gloss sticker papers um, so I'm just going to be using this one you're meant to be using a fine point pen the pens that I bought for the Cricut was not for the joy this is another thing I want to quickly mention is that the pens for the other Cricuts, like the Cricut Maker, Cricut 3 Maker, <clears throat> those pens will not work on the Cricut. These ones are a lot thicker, smaller, and shorter as well, so they just won't work on that. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is go into Cricut application, which is the, oh my God, there is two applications, Cricut Joy and Cricut Design. And you're going to open it up. You're going to start off by clicking new project in this. Once you click new project, you're going to go into a blank canvas. You're going to click images and then you're going to type in whatever you want. So in this case, I decided to go in with Kawhi because my kids love that. And I'm just going to pick any random image. So I picked the guitar, which afterwards you will see that I made a mistake and I didn't actually want the guitar because I didn't put in the filters that I needed. So you will see that I edit this. So now I'm just going back into images and I'm going to click in Kawaii and it's going to come up with loads of images. But in the right hand corner at the top, you will see that there is some filters. You need to click operation type and cut and draw. Unfortunately, on mobile phone, this app does not allow you to print and cut, which would have been bad because then you would have got the full colors, images, everything. But we're going to make do with what we have. You're supposed to use an extra fine draw pen, which I obviously didn't have. So I just used whatever I have. So here it's actually telling us that you need to use an extra fine point pen. So when you click into layers, you click on to draw. You go on to the bottom selection here on edit, click draw. Then it will say here the pen type. I used extra fine point pen. You need to click that and then pick your color, which I picked black. I did have to change that afterwards so that I could see the image to red or blue. Then you can see that the icon has gone. Now the cut sign has turned into draw. So we need to change that back to cut. So as you can see, it's completely dark here. And I'd had to go back and change that again once I was literally clicking make it. So you kind of see what I'm doing here. Um, but I needed to change the, the draw color because it just was not working. Make sure it's all grouped together, which already it was grouped together. Once you've done that, you click on mat. And as you can see, I could not see the draw. So for me, that was kind of confusing. So I had to kind of go back. I changed the mat to 30.5 centimeters because I'm using a bigger mat. But again, because I couldn't see it, I had to go back and change that. So you'll see that in a second what I did. So ideally, what you want to do here is you just go back and you click the color image, change it and it will just show up. Um, and then what you want to do is connect to your Joy, which connects via Bluetooth. And once it's done that, you will come onto the following page, which is this one here. This way you want to set your materials. So I'm going to click all materials. I didn't have a glossy sticky paper um, for stickers in particular. So I used a, a, a normal label sheet, I guess, which is what I was pretty much using um, because I could not find what I was looking for. So you'll see me just 
kind of picking and choosing here they have a variety of papers and choices of vinyls that you can use and iron-ons that you can use as well even says win window cling here as well which is so cool um party foils folks leather absolutely amazing so got a whole choice of things that you can do with this Cricut Joy so I'm just gonna pick the one that I need right now So here it's telling you and giving you the instructions of what you need to do. So at this point, I needed to load in my um, mat and it says I need to put in my fine point uh, blade, which is the additional thing. But I need to put in the fine point pen first, which is what I then did. And I could not show you that because, of course, you know, I was recording on the same phone that I was using this on. So here we go. I'm going to show you in a second. OK, so I'm going to be using the light grip mat. I'm going to be using this paper here, which is the label paper. Um, sometimes my blade does F up. Sometimes my my blade will literally pull the paper. I don't know why it does that. Um, but I am still trying to figure out this creaker as I go along. So we're going to kind of align this and we're going to just stick this down like so. Make sure it's stuck properly. OK, so it's going to tell us in a second what to do on the screen. OK, so let's go back quickly to the screen. And then what we're going to do is we're going to literally align this grip map. So you'll see here that there's these little it's already going. But you can see here there's these little um, tabs. You slot it in through that. And then when it says go, that's when you do it. So you can see we're on the setting of draw right now. And we're going to just literally draw the kawaii cupcake. Then it should do cut after that. Now, if my paper doesn't mess around with me, which... The blade has been acting up, but if it doesn't, it should go as planned and then we'll be able to get some stickers done. Um, now, obviously, you can use different colored pens for this. Unfortunately, the print version is a lot better because you can print the actual stickers in actual colors. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to do it this way. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to do it this way because there's no other way of doing this. So, yeah. But let's see, let's see how it goes. I'm drawing it pretty big, the pen kind of slipped out, so I might have to go over it again and redo. So let's see. this looks like it is super super cute i love this so how you take this off is you turn it upside down and you're just gonna peel this off and that is how you do this and then you can either choose to peel this off like the whole thing or you can choose to just leave it as it is um so that's entirely up to you but of course it hasn't actually cut the backing of it so it is just a sticker um, and I probably will just cut this off and if the girls want to use it they can use it but this is a sample it's not fully done that was my fault that it didn't draw fully so yeah that was my fault because I didn't actually close the tab on the the Cricut Joy but yeah we're going to do this again and this time we're going to make it smaller and we're going to try creating more so let's go so I've got some more paper here and I'm just going to grab my, I'm just going to grab my cutter and I'm going to estimate it to be about there and then I'm going to 
then I'm yeah. going to stick this down like so. Now I've got to be aware that I've got this little gap here on the side as well. So this is literally around about just past 11. So as you can see, this is just past 11, but it comes down to at least about 17 centimetres. So I've got to make sure that it comes up to 16 centimetres with whatever kind of like drawings I'm doing. So I'm going to go and do that again. What I'm going to do is this time, I'm going to not show you what I did on the app because you guys already seen that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how the actual thing works.
done and they're looking pretty cool so i think these are really really cute actually and i think that these would be really good for kids if they just want to like color in their own stickers and customize them to the way they want to customize them but again if you have a laptop or you have a pc then the best thing to do is to actually just use that to do a print and cut to get the full experience of this okay guys so i'm going to end the video here i will probably make another different kind of like tutorial separate for the Cricut joy to show you guys how to do iron on and stuff and maybe we can learn together how to use the Cricut joy i would say it's definitely worth the investment in the long run um because you can do so much so much with it um so yeah and in regards to the kind of like trouble and the stress the kind of thing that has been going on i am gonna probably put that in a different video just because i'd rather not talk with the girls at home um and if you're a parent you'll probably understand what i'm talking about in regards to just not having that discussion right now um but i will let you guys know really soon um what what's going on um and i don't want to kind of leave you guys in the dark about it either because you know you'll probably be like where's she gone where's she gone she's not on youtube anymore well, I'm, I'm still around i'm still around um and i will be doing uh, different styles of vlogs as well so hopefully we can try doing some kind of like you know um decals and things like that change it up and spice it up a little bit let me know if you want to see some of those things and i will end this video here and uh, have a great day everyone Love you all. Bye.